Ah, uh, Alaskan bush people. The show where they don't live in Alaska, they don't live in the bush and some of them are barely people. Discovery Channel's not done with Billy Brown and his brood, so neither are we. Here's a long overdue, search engine optimized recap of stuff going on behind the scenes of Alaskan bush people that's far more entertaining than the show itself. Discovery Channel has set the date for the 2017 Alaskan bush people Christmas special. Is Ami still alive? Yes. Last we checked, Ami is still alive. I feel like there needs to be a website like there is for Abe Vigoda's life-death status. Think I'm ghoulish? Look at these Google searches, there's a morbid curiosity, and a lot of it is fueled by the Browns or Discovery's failure to keep fans updated on her condition. Amos' public appearances have been rare since she began undergoing cancer treatments in Los Angeles. She is not well, and the prognosis does not appear to be good. But the show must go on, right? Fans took pics of the Browns in Colorado near Trinidad and Pueblo, where scenes were shot for the upcoming Christmas special and presumably the upcoming season. Based on the pack of Marlboros in his pocket, I'd say Billy was stepping out of the hotel for a quick smoke break. Amazing what cameras can reveal when they're used in real reality. Alaskan bush people is when your wife has stage 4 lung cancer and you have a pack of Marbs. HTTPS T.co.mdm6 in Deb picked out Twitter.com KPG 2 JRJHR Brian Burns at Ryan Barron's October 31st, 2017 is Rain Okay No, she's not, but what 14-year-old really is teenagers are by nature self-absorbed, angst-ridden proto-humans who haven't yet learned how clueless they are. I know this from 23 years of experience as a recovering teenager. Rain is not only a teenager, but she's also spent her awkward tween years performing as a trained seal in Billy Brown's Bush Family TV Circus Spectacular. That alone would mess anybody up but then add an Instagram account, a whole lot of idle time and a severely ill mother on top of that. I give Rain credit for not going completely off the rails. Though many already think she already has gone off the rails. If you've not seen or heard the content Rain puts on her various social media accounts I'm not linking to them, she posts videos of herself singing both silly pop songs and original inspirational ballads like it's not my fault I'm better than you. She once accidentally revealed the street address of their rented home in Los Angeles. She posts hashtag philosophy with unattributed quotations, for which her cult of devotees, she calls them rainbows, praise her for wisdom far beyond her years. She's claimed to have sponsorship from a little-known active wear company. She's posted images of her tongue that should be published in medical journals. She's posted way too much information about her crush on an adult. She's removed many of these posts after some backlash but she doesn't seem to understand that the internet is forever. A teenager posted inappropriate content online shocking it would be no big deal, but in Rain's case, it's symptomatic of a much bigger problem. Rain appears to be lacking in any responsible adult supervision or guidance. She is seeking out attention and affirmation from hordes of enablers tapping away on distant keyboards. Instead of ignoring detractors, she compounds the problem by responding with juvenile contempt. Much worse, she's being followed stalked by some disturbing individuals. It's sad that Rain has to deal with nut jobs and trolls. Most teens can post all the stuff they want to and it's seen by only a few friends or family members. Rain can't have that room for error, because her father made the choice to put her on TV. This is the unfortunate drawback of being a bottom-tier celeb on social media and not in Amos Bush chemistry class making molecules out of sticks. Instagram is not the appropriate forum for a teenager to seek therapy, and it's sad that major media outlets felt the need to make news of Rain's self-diagnosed mental and emotional health issues. If Rain does in fact suffer from depression, I would strongly urge her to confide in a trusted adult and seek counseling from a professional in the mental or behavioral health field. There is a terrible trend of rising teen suicide rates linked to social media use. No child should suffer such unbearable pain and anguish over something so fleeting and meaningless as an Instagram comment. What the hell is Bam doing with this fairy thing Bam Bam, the most sensible of the Browns' faint praise indeed, is spending much of his ABP off-season in South Carolina with Allison Kagan, a former producer on ABP. They're supposedly married, but not acknowledging this publicly yet for whatever reason. In November 2016, they bought a used ferry boat for some business venture that they haven't yet revealed. With Bam's history of ramming boats into docks and his family's poor track record of seamanship, I certainly wouldn't want to be on the water with him at the helm. I commend Bam for the innovative way in which he's going to completely bankrupt himself. Plus, this pic of shirtless Bam painting the ceiling is just too damn sexy for words. 
November 2016 BAM preps the newly revealed and surprisingly rust-free ceiling. 30 years young picked out Twitter.com OAB cracks. Fathom this at Fathom this very November 4th, 2017. Something called The Blast recently posted some professionally shot and deliberately post paparazzi pics of BAM and Allison acting out various public displays of affection in New Orleans. BAM BAM in the Bayou The At Discovery star admires fine art and his lady in New Orleans. See pics Alaskan bush people https t.co 97 gh 2 dqsnh The Blast at the Blast News November 14, 2017 BAAAARF There are also some action-packed photos of Bam and Allison looking at art. IDIDNT think you could improve on a masterpiece, but we somehow did. Noah Brown is sheriff of what small town Noah's sheriff of the fantasy land that exists somewhere between his ears. In the season finale, Noah said he was going to take some time away from the family to pursue his dream of becoming a sheriff in whatever backwoods wasteland that would give him the job. It was hilarious, and we weren't the only ones who thought so. Instead of pursuing his law enforcement career, Noah and Ray and Alicia have been driving around in Noah's barely roadworthy Camaro on a multi-state tour of Walmart locations. What's the deal with these two? Anyway, they creep me out. One of the funniest sub-subplots of last day BP season was the fact that Rain did not appear in any new footage, and she was barely even mentioned. This must be driven her absolutely crazy, since being on TV was the lone intent of her becoming the groupie forced to settle for the Brown Boys Band's keyboard player. Alaskan Bush People Awesome picked out Twitter.com's Yezu 12 WTZ, Adrian Bevel at Adrian Bevel October 1, 2017 Our fingers were crossed that Noah was going to leave ABP, but Rain must be applied pressure on Noah to raise hell and supposedly get her back on the show. Billy and Park Slope caved in. Perhaps they were not the master negotiators. I thought they were. Why ISNT this show cancelled yet there are still enough idiots like me watching it, and there's still enough money in it for the Browns, Park Slope Productions and Discovery Channel. Alaskan Bush people's entire premise was blown up long ago and the Browns Bush lifestyle has been exposed as an illusion, yet the show still draws enough eyeballs to warrant another season. The viewers with a casual interest in the show have probably ditched it by now, leaving only the most vehement hate watchers and spellbound superfans keeping the lights on at Park Slope. As for me, I'm just doing my job.